The star that could one day shock the entire night sky is Betelgeuse. It sits on the shoulder of Orion the Hunter, glowing reddish-orange, instantly recognizable to anyone who gazes at the stars. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, nearly 700 times the size of our Sun, and only about 600 light-years away. For astronomers, that makes it a close neighbor. But more importantly, it makes Betelgeuse one of the most closely watched stars in the universe, because it is highly unstable, and its time is running out. At some point in the future, whether it's tomorrow, in a hundred years, or in a hundred thousand, Betelgeuse will explode in a brilliant supernova. When it does, the event will be so bright that it will rival the full moon and turn night into day. Imagine walking outside at midnight and being able to read a book by its light. That's the kind of power Betelgeuse will unleash. Back in late 2019, the world got a small taste of that mystery. Betelgeuse began to dim dramatically. Night after night, its once brilliant glow faded until it became almost unrecognizable. Some wondered, was this it? Was the star about to collapse? For months, speculation grew. Scientists, amateurs, and skywatchers all turned their telescopes toward Orion, waiting for history to unfold. This strange period became known as the Great Dimming. At first, no one could explain it. Was the star cooling inside? Was it signaling the beginning of a supernova? Or was something else blocking its light? For half a year, theories flew across the scientific community. Finally, by 2025, the mystery was solved. Betelgeuse had ejected a giant cloud of dust, so large it temporarily veiled the star's light from Earth. In other words, Betelgeuse itself had coughed, sending matter drifting into space, briefly cloaking it from our view. That single event taught astronomers something important, Betelgeuse is unpredictable. Its outer layers swell, shrink, and shed into space like great tides of plasma, reminding us that massive stars live fast, violent lives. But the great dimming was only the beginning. In 2025, new and sharper observations revealed something even more astonishing. Betelgeuse, long thought to be alone, isn't alone at all. Hidden within its fiery glow is a companion star, faint and elusive finally confirmed after years of speculation. Astronomers call it Sawarha, meaning, her bracelet, in Arabic. Sawarha is a small, blue-white star, about one and a half times the mass of our Sun. But compared to Betelgeuse, it is fragile, six magnitudes dimmer and dwarfed by the red giant's colossal size. What makes Sawarha remarkable isn't just its discovery, but its orbit. It circles within the extended, puffy atmosphere of Betelgeuse itself, as if swimming dangerously close to a cosmic furnace. And their relationship is anything but simple. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, unstable and shedding matter, while Sawarha is still in its youth, not even fully burning hydrogen in its core. One is dying, the other just beginning. Yet their fates are bound together. Betelgeuse's pulsations and eruptions may be shaped by its smaller neighbor. Sawarha, in turn, risks being consumed, torn apart, or blasted into interstellar space when the supernova finally arrives. So how was Sawarha finally revealed? The breakthrough came through speckle imaging, a technique that uses thousands of ultra-short exposures to counteract Earth's atmosphere, which normally blurs starlight. Using the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii, astronomers stacked these rapid snapshots together to cut through the distortion, finally separating Sawara's faint glow from Betelgeuse's blinding brilliance. It was like finding a tiny firefly hovering next to a floodlight. This discovery has transformed Betelgeuse into a natural laboratory for astronomers. Binary star systems are common in the universe, but rarely do we see such a dramatic pairing. One giant star at the end of its life and a companion still at the beginning. 
Studying this system could help scientists refine models of how massive stars evolve, die, and interact with their neighbors. The future for Sawarha is wrapped in mystery and possibility. Astronomers estimate that within the next 10,000 years, a blink in the grand scale of the universe, it could be drawn deeper into Betelgeuse's swollen, unstable atmosphere. If that happens, the smaller star may disturb the giant's fragile balance, triggering violent outbursts and perhaps even hastening Betelgeuse's final collapse. On the other hand, if it avoids being swallowed, then when the red supergiant finally reaches its explosive end, Sawarha could be hurled outward at tremendous speed. It might become what scientists call a runaway star, racing through the galaxy on its own, carrying the scars of surviving a cosmic detonation. But another scenario is even darker. Sawarha itself may one day collapse under its own mass, forming either a dense white dwarf, a neutron star, or even a black hole. The faint flickering of its light has already inspired speculation. Could it be simple instability, or could it hint at something stranger? Perhaps a signal of hidden structures, the kind of megastructures once theorized in the search for alien civilizations? For now, such ideas remain unproven, but they serve as a reminder of how little we truly know about the stars we gaze upon. And what about us, here on Earth? When Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, will its cosmic death pose a danger? The reassuring answer is no. At 600 light years away, its radiation will have spread out over such a vast distance that by the time it reaches us, it will be harmless. This is thanks to the inverse square law of physics. Energy weakens with distance, and 600 light years is more than enough to keep us safe. For humanity, the event will be not a catastrophe, but a spectacle, a light show of unimaginable beauty, written across the sky. Imagine it. For weeks, perhaps even months, a new beacon will blaze in the heavens. Betelgeuse will outshine every star in the night sky, rivaling the brightness of the full moon. At its peak, it could even be visible in broad daylight, a second, sun, glowing faintly against the blue. Nighttime landscapes will be transformed, shadows cast not by the moon, but by the fading echo of a dying star. Generations of poets, scientists, and dreamers will look up and witness what no one in human history has ever seen before. And yet, you don't need to wait for that day to connect with Betelgeuse. On any clear night, you can find it yourself. Start with Orion, one of the most iconic constellations in the sky. Look for Orion's belt, the three stars aligned in a perfect row. From there, trace your eyes upward and to the left, and you'll see it, a reddish glow marking Orion's shoulder. That's Betelgeuse, already standing out as one of the brightest stars visible from Earth, and one of the most closely watched by astronomers. Betelgeuse also plays a starring role in the Winter Triangle, alongside Sirius, the brightest star in the entire sky, and Procyon. Together, these three stars form a brilliant pattern that dominates the colder months, a guidepost for stargazers across the world. But remember this whenever you look at Betelgeuse, it is not eternal. That red spark in the night is a ticking clock, a countdown to one of the most dramatic events the universe has to offer. Whether the explosion comes tomorrow, in a thousand years, or ten thousand, it is inevitable. One day, that familiar point of light will vanish, replaced by a blazing supernova that will forever alter the appearance of our sky. When that moment comes, humanity will be reminded of something profound, that even the brightest stars must eventually die, and in their death, they give birth to new beginnings. The elements forged in Betelgeuse's heart, carbon, oxygen, iron, will be scattered across space, seeding future stars, planets, and perhaps even life itself. So the next time you step outside and look up at Orion, pause for a moment at the hunter's glowing shoulder. Betelgeuse is more than just a star, it's a promise of transformation, a cosmic story still unfolding. And when it finally explodes, we will witness not just the end of a star, but the opening of a new chapter in the universe's grand design.